Don't, uh, uh, somebody saying like in Arabian, uh, Arab for Christ, uh, he trying to learn Arabic, but not all the alphabet. No, the alphabet, all of it is there. You know, just watch carefully. Don't send me messages to Skype for those issues. Skype is only for people who want to call me, please. All right? If you are a Muslim, you'd like to join us, text me in Skype. I will be happy to take you. Albanian Muslim. That's a good one. Let us take him. I don't know why. Let us give him one more chance. <clears throat> Not answering. is not answering. All right. Maybe he's, you know, maybe he decided to go offline, you know. Maybe he decided uh, to go and fight the pig and they want to kill the pig. You know, Islam is a very sick or stupid religion. Uh, you know, I find Islam is a very stupid to the point. Even they believe that the Messiah, when he come back, he is going to kill the pig. I mean, how silly, how stupid you Muslims are. So Jesus will wait until the end of the time because he's going to have a cowboy fight with the kid, with the pig. Why? Hmm? If Abdul, he texts me and he did not answer my call, I will block you. Okay, let me block you then. Don't waste my time. Let us see this guy. Let us see. Hello? I hear you. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. All right, very good. So how I can help you, my friend? Yeah, so the thing is, I the last few months, I watched a lot of content from you and from uh, Sam Shamoon. All right. And yeah, well, first off, thank you for all the information that you guys give. So I was raised in a Muslim household. Okay. I never paid attention to Christianity at all. And thanks to you, I am looking into it more. So, yeah. And the few questions that I have is more on the some of the signs from uh, Islam. So sign? one of the things. You mean science or si sign? Science? Science? Uh, you mean? Science. Science. No, okay. Science. Okay. Uh, no, not, not science. I mean, uh, like a proof, like like the they the things that they use in order to prove that it's the truth. All right. Okay. So I haven't seen a video that you discuss on this. So the thing is, like the minor <laughs> signs of the end of times. Like what? Of Islam. Um, there were a couple of things. So one of the things that they uh, gave was that the in the end of times that the Bedouins would raise up. Um, big buildings they would compete over well the better when they have big building before muhammad this is called yemen go check it out but also with regards to the rest of the world so that they were that much bigger the same, same same time the better when my friend he's talking about is the arab but not the better one who live in china he's talking about the better one you know and same time same time if this is true then yeah. the end of the times what happened since they have those buildings this is the sign of the end of the time right did it happen same time, uh, can you read for me the hadith about this, uh, 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 like what this hadith says? I don't know the number from the top of my head. Okay. I can check it out. 
is it, does it uh, uh, does it count many things or only this thing? So this particular hadith, I don't know the the one that says this. I just saw like a, some analysis online. I don't know like the exact reference to it. Yeah. Well, the hadith, as I know, it count many things, and this is co supportive from the sign of the hour. And you will find the second we check them uh, uh, out, we will find uh, many things doesn't make sense, and they are stupid. Let us uh, let, let me let me go and find some of those hadith. Yeah. And I will put it for you on the screen. You, you see my screen? Um, just a second. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, but it's all right. No, it's still on uh, Arut and Marut. Okay, now it's going to refresh and it will be with you. All right. <clears throat> In the same hadith, it says that from the signs that uh, if we read here, let us see. Yeah. Do you know Arabic? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, the bond women give birth to her own master. <laughs> so this is a signs of uh, the, the. This has happened thousands of years before. There's many kings, in fact, you know. <laughs> They are born, you know. I mean, what this guy is talking about? This is a sign. So, the born women give birth to her to her own master. But isn't this the case for every king who slept with the women she is as a slave, and then the king, or the the son of the king, will be a king? Isn't it most of the kings of the Roman? Many of them they were sons of of a company like a, a woman she is a slave. So, what does it have to do with the end of the time? So, this is what happened at the end of the time. But this happened even before Muhammad, after Muhammad, in the time of Muhammad, and later after. So Muhammad is the idiot. In fact, in fact, uh, uh, most of those Arab, most of those Arab, they are sons of their own slaves. Which means the slave, the son, he is a son of a slave, and then he became a leader, because he's a son of his father. The father is a, a, a let us say. A tribe uh, a ruler or etc so this is very normal thing to happen then he said and then you will find uh, that the barefooted and naked uh, poor shepherd competing one another on the construction of the higher building uh, if this is about the Bedouin who they are around him you know, Muhammad, he lived in the time of Yemen, is exist. And they are, all of them, they are shepherds. This is what they do for a living. Some they do farming. And they have high buildings already. Five, six floors. Yemen have very old buildings. And they are going back even before Muhammad time. And they are high in, in, in the, and they were competing with each other. So if this is the true, secondly, this is against Muhammad. Let's say this is talking about the Arab today. But when the last time, when the, when the Arab they start having uh, high buildings. Sorry, what do you say? When the Arab they start having high buildings. Uh, the last century, I believe. Uh, but this is when everybody start having high building, correct? Yeah, but if we look at the highest ones in the world, like those who are more in the like Dubai, Qatar. Uh, uh, okay, but like uh, no problem. But this is even built by not even by the Bedouin. The Bedouin cannot build. It's not by it's not done by the shepherd. It's done by the European. All the engineering is you. Is your you know what ah. what what they do in Emirat? Emirat have almost zero citizen. If you go in Emirat, you will find you will walk in the street. You will find you will see five hundred people, and then you will find one local. That's it. So what is the benefit of those five hundred versus one? But it's not like the it's not I believe the emphasis on the employees, but it's more about the ancestors of it like the ancestors of no the it says they right? are they are the one who will do that they are the one not somebody else he did not mention that their servants or their slaves or their employees he said they will do that they are not they are not they are not the one doing it same time if this is true then this is the end of the time so what's happening what, what happened same time what do you mean what happened what happened nothing what is the end of the time is it this is the sign of the ah, end of the time i thought it's towards the end of the times like it's a sign towards okay uh, i will go with you uh, yeah. I, I will go I, I will show you because if muhammad he knew the signs of the day of the like when the time will come 
then we just mentioned that uh, uh, he said soon the messiah will come he will come he will descend between you and he will break the uh, the cross uh, put down the jizya and kill the pig did you see I that heard of it. okay yeah, but did he say the word the word is liu shikna the muslim translation even the muslim translation is saying soon right okay so if this is a sign of the day of judgment because remember when when jesus come this is that's it jesus, jesus will be the judge that's it it's it, it okay. this is the end mm -hmm. this is the end so all those things happen already before jesus so but but muhammad he said liu shikna almost here let me show you another sign of the day end of the time oh, but just if i can interrupt for it sure like you say soon but the thing is isn't it in general also with other religions that they say soon but it doesn't mean no no, no. Like, he said oh, in arabic years. this is a translation in english liu shikna in arabic is not soon it's it's it, almost here it's not soon this is the muslim yeah, translation but, but like they're even almost here if, if we go with that translation it's still not okay that's why i'm not that's why i did not stop you know let's continue in the quran chapter 54 verse number one it says the hour has a drawn near the fact hmm. it says the word iqtaraba iqtaraba tisa iqtaraba is so 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 close and the moon is split ascender so the moon is splitting is what is a sign of what of the end of the time correct i would assume yeah, yeah. okay this was 1400 years ago i see but what i mean to say is that if you compare that that period uh -huh. to uh, like uh, how long the universe exists or how long the earth exists like it's in relative sense it's not that okay long. that's but, what i think but but that you see that mean muhammad he lied because he should not use that word soon he can say it will happen i mean arabic language is very rich in words you know i do not need to say the word but if it's not soon you know it's not it's not like like right, right almost uh we can go and we can see more uh uh, uh prophecy muhammad he have uh, tons of uh, prophecies as an example the muslim they claim that muhammad even he knew that the arab they will uh they will conquer uh you know uh Constantini, right yeah okay sure, yeah. how we know that this is even true because the hadith is written 300 years after muhammad and how we know that is even this is what uh, what what happened but let us go together and see uh you will see that muhammad he claimed that the roman they will become the majority of mankind i heard allah messenger saying the last hour would come when the roman would form the majority among people uh, the screen hasn't been refreshed yet for that. no problem this is sahih muslim very authentic 2898a is that what's happening now that the roman they form the majority of mankind 2898a you said yeah oh, i see it in your screen never mind yeah that's good um yeah perfect is it true that the italian government they announced that the population of italy is declining in a massive way and they are encouraging people to have more children Which yeah. one? Which this one is bigger in population, Bangladesh or Italy? Yeah, Bangladesh, obviously. Indonesia or Italy? Yeah, Indonesia. Egypt or Italy? Egypt. Yeah. So how the Roman they will become the majority of mankind? Isn't it? The, and you are a Muslim, supposedly. Isn't it the Muslim? They are proud about their number. Yeah, yeah so yeah. how the roman they will become the majority and then the muslim they try to fix it they say to you oh he meant the christians read carefully he did not say even the word christian because 
In the Quran, the Quran call always the Christian Nasara. Never call them Roman. Never. The Roman is the Roman. The Christian is the Christian. The Quran used the word Nasara. So he said the Roman will form the majority among the people. So Muhammad, he made a false prophecy again. We can give you more uh, false prophecies. Very powerful. I don't know, there's a, there's a, a boy, his name is Ali Dawa. He said in his video, uh, like one of the astonishing thing, and he, he believed that he is a Muslim because of it, that Muhammad, he, uh, he, he did, he, in the Quran, did bash his uncle. Bash's uncle? Yeah. Okay. The Quran bashed his uncle. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's, you know. Ah, yeah, 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 I know, I know what you mean, yeah. Um, so it was like a prophecy as well, like he would never accept Islam. Right? Exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. But look how, how stupid this uh, silly thing is. Yeah, I know what you, you're probably going to say, like, if he were to accept, then the book itself would be invalid no this is what he said he, this is what he said uh, oh, not me not me but i will use his same the one who will cut this video later add lili dawa to this part so people will, will laugh so if we use the same method which is used by lili dawa we will find that muhammad he made it clear let us go to the end of the Quran, the chapter of Al-Kafirun. Here you will find this. Very clear proof that Muhammad is an idiot and he is a false prophet. Chapter 109, Muhammad, he says, say, O who kuffar, I will worship not what you worship, and nor you will worship which I worship, and shall not, and I shall not worship which you are worshiping, which is very stupid to repeat, already you say that, nor you will worship what which I worship, you said that already, idiot. To you, you have your religion, to, her, to mine, I have mine. Okay. But isn't it all those people later, they became Muslims? He was, he was saying it to the people right around him, right? So, yeah, I would assume, yeah. So how he said, you will not worship what I worship, and I will not worship what you worship? Maybe the particular groups of people that... No, 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 he did not say, he, he said kuffar. He did not even, kuffar mean everybody don't accept Islam. He didn't say a person, he didn't say a name. Al-Kafirun, anyone who disbelieved. So he said, all oh, the kuffar, you will not believe in what I believe, and I will not believe in what you believe. And he repeated that many times in the same chapter. But then we find that all of them, they become believers. So using the same method used by Lili Dawa, that Abu Lahab, if he converted to Islam, that would make Quran invalid. This is his method. Okay, well, this is Islam and valid because now one person did not convert to Islam. That make you believe Muhammad made a prophecy. And thousands of people who use, who supposedly Muhammad said they will not believe in Islam. They become Muslims. And that will not make you leave Islam. Sorry, can you repeat it? If Lilida was saying that because Abu Lahab, he did not convert to Islam, because if you convert, that will make the book invalid, correct? Yeah. Okay, that Abu Lahab is one person. Right. Okay, but Muhammad here is saying, all the kuffar, including Abu Lahab. Yeah, but okay, it, he says this, but he says like that person, like Abu Lahab and the other kuffar. No, no, no. In that, in that, in that, in uh, that uh, verses, only Abu Lahab. He's talking about Abu Lahab. You know, he's okay. bashing Abu Lahab and his wife specifically, two person only. Here he's saying the kuffar, including everybody. Kuffar is everybody. But all of them, you know, or let us say the majority, because later either they get killed. So we cannot, we cannot talk about the one is dead, he can convert or not. We can talk only about the one who's still alive. 
the one who is still alive, all of them, they converted to Islam, so this is a false prophecy. But not all of them. All like, of them. Of course, of course, a lot of Saudis and... No, 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 are... all of them. No, all of them. All of them. But not literally all of them. Okay, no, all of them, because simply, there is zero non-Muslims in the Arabian Peninsula. So anyone want to stay in the Arabian Peninsula, you have to convert to Islam. All okay, of them. And then those people... And all... Like I, My friend, I don't see those people, that people, not people, doesn't matter. Those people, if there is only five between them, and he said to them, you will not convert to Islam, and then they convert to Islam, that means Muhammad is a fraud. But I will go with you now. Muhammad, he made a prophecies, and you mentioned to me about the Day of Judgment. Well, Muhammad do not know about what's happening in his time, how he knew about the Day of Judgment. As an example, when Muhammad, he mentioned that... Uh, 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 how the baby is made, and yeah, the one and the one uh, the one is talking is Allah, right? Mm. And we can, by the way, we can read the hadith. But I'm going to read Quran uh, is is more powerful than the hadith, right? Because the Muslims still they can say, as I said, it's written long time after Muhammad. It can be it can be false. But if we go in the Quran, we will find. The problem is with the embryonal development. I have no knowledge on it in general, so I. Don't... I I'm not a doctor, my friend. I'm not a doctor. And the only time I learned about this since high school, after that I did not join a medical school or etc. You know, it's just something I learned in, uh, uh, you know, in high school. And since then I did not have any extra education in it, and eh, just little reading. Here it says we made the not fine to a clot, a piece of thick, uh, completed blood. Is that correct? Sorry, can you repeat it? Is that true that the sperm would become a dead blood and that would make the baby? Dead blood? Dead blood, yeah, uh, congeal the blood. Uh, I have no idea. For uh, my friend, blood. you can uh, search right now. I mean, you're. Uh, I'm assuming that you are a young man and you you know how to use the computer. Uh, what, what's what's your education, if you don't mind? Yeah, I've um, studied something about medical, but not um, uh, nothing with biology at all. Okay, so. but uh, can your fingers search right now? What make the baby? I mean, you will find it. The sperm does not transform to anything. The sperm only de deliver the DNA and fertilize the egg. The thing what I could say, like just in, before I read the scientific approach, is maybe this is a very um, easily to be understood approach. What what he explains here. That's what understood. That's Listen, all all this method is false. This is God talking about how the baby is made. So the sperm does not become a baby. It is the uh, the sperm fertilize the egg. You see, if if here he's like he's not giving details, I will say, okay, you know what? He just make it uh, let us say metaphorically, you know, like you are from the semen of your father. I will let it go. But no, he's talking about the stages one by one. He's talking about the semen itself, how the semen is transformed into dead blood, and that dead blood become 